Hey guys, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice in the Lord always and be glad in it. Merry Christmas Eve. We're getting ready to watch our church's Christmas Eve service. Morning service. Morning service. That's what I meant to say. And uh, yeah, so I'm not going to keep you on camera. I just want to check in, say Merry Christmas Eve. And we're starting the day off right. And remember to be glad in it. Jesus is coming for the first time. Okay, guys, we're going to open our Christmas pajamas and we don't know what they look like. Except we bought them mm -hmm. and wrapped them together. For each other, together. Oh well. Let's see what they look You all don't know what they look like. And they're matchy matchy. Boy, you're going to need to fast forward this part. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Oh, look! Oh, cool! Oh, yeah, guys! Thank you. Magic, magic Christmas pajamas! And... Well, not and. Oh, I know, right. I mean, here are the pants. Oh, that's what I was going to say. And here are the Magic Christmas pajama pants. Pants. So, we're going to put our Christmas pajamas on and enjoy Christmas Eve. And those are our official first Christmas present openings. Yay. Yeah. I don't want to play a board game. Crap. Do you like to play a board game? I'm kind of in the mood to play like a legit board game, like like a snow day board game. Like Risk or something. Isn't that what you played on snow days? A lot yeah. with the I kind of want to play something in like that, or that, even, whatever. It could work. Christmas pajamas! Show my Christmas pajamas. He's mad because it took me a long time to get the camera to work. What am I supposed to do? This for Christmas pajamas! Christmas pajamas! Alright. See you we're matching Christmas pajamas, buddies. So we are getting ready to play a game and have some Christmas game playing fun. And that game is Risk. So, here's praying for the stamina. I think I can do it. I'm excited to play a game. This isn't a game, it's war. Uh oh, it's war. Well, it's literally war. It's Risk. Literally. It's Risk. <laughs> Alright, let's come up with a plan to save the country. If I save the country, I'm going to beat the world. I'm going to take the world from you. I'm going this time. I'm going to win. Where are my risks? We've played once. It was actually shortly after I got diagnosed that summer, I believe. It was one evening, I remember. We are getting ready to do our Advent readings for this week. The theme this week is... Preparation. Preparation. If you remember last week's was active anticipation and while you are anticipating, you need to prepare for what you are <coughs> anticipating. So I'm excited to see what this week has to say. Maybe we'll be able to talk to y'all about it after again, kind of like we did last time. Um, last week was pretty awesome. I know several of you either on Instagram or on the channel itself uh, mentioned liking that video about active anticipation, so uh, or liking the concepts in the video about active anticipation. So we're going to do our own readings here, and then we'll be back with you with calendars after this. All right, guys, so we, once again, the readings and the scriptures were just perfectly in tune with what we've been following this entire month, what we are trying to, you know, focus on as we prepare for celebrating the birth of Christ. Tomorrow morning and tonight, um, we're, we're getting ready to watch the Nativity Story movie after we do our Advent calendars. Because, and, and we watch that every Christmas Eve just to kind of get our minds focused, you know, right on like as close to narrative as we can of what happened. I'm sure the movie can't even get close. Because it's impossible to capture the glory that was there. I can't even begin to imagine. But on the topic of preparation, 
There were a lot of things that it talked about in our readings tonight, but the one quote that stood out to me more than anything else, and there was a lot of scripture, of course, that was wonderful, but one quote that stood out to me, and uh, just some context, it was talking about how as Christians we should be in almost a state of despair, longing for Christ's second coming, um, but that we shouldn't be in despair like of the world. You know, so go with that for just a second. But the quote itself is, uh, despair is most often the offspring of ill preparedness. So despair is most often comes from not being prepared. Mm -hmm. So like negative despair, when Jesus comes, if you are not prepared for him to come, if you have not anticipated and prepared for him to come, you're going to be in a quite a quite a bit of despair because it's um not going to be too happy of a time for you. Anyway, I just I thought that quote itself was just interesting. I liked this other quote too. Mm. This is this is really empowering here. To live outside of God's will puts us in danger. To live in his will makes us dangerous. Hashtag that dangerous life. That's good stuff. Because we're, da- we're in danger if we don't live according to God's will. You know, we know how we're supposed to live. We know he knows what's best for us. We live outside of that. Of course, that's dangerous. Yeah. But living in his will, making us dangerous. Think about it. You know, he, he when we're living in his will, he can literally do anything with us that needs to be done or that he wants to use us to, to help accomplish to further his kingdom. It makes us dangerous to Satan. It makes us dangerous to a sinful world that doesn't want to hear him, that doesn't want to accept him if, if we are living in his will. And that is why it is so important. And I that, that is a great quote. I love yep. it. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to read a whole long passage like I did last time to you guys, just because our, our throats are a little sore from reading aloud while we were doing it. Nah, but, I'm a teacher. I'm good. You know, my throat's a little sore. But um, it, there was just some really good things in this as well. And By the way, just a, just a little reminder, if you're interested in the readings we've been doing, this is the Mosaic Bible published by Tyndale. I don't know if you can see that. looks like this. Of course, it's got my name on it. Here is the title page, the Mosaic Bible, New Living Translation. So, it's got the uh, all the different uh, weeks of devotions in there for the whole liturgical calendar. And then, of course, the uh, the Bible to go along with it. So pretty cool if you're interested. It is pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So I think it is the time of the night, and this is the last one for the last year. Last one. It's a shame Day you didn't 24. beat me in getting out our... Advent calendar. Except I beat him no, once. Not he once. No, but I'm the one that edits the blogs and rewatches them, and I saw the time. That's I beat him. cheating. No, I saw the time. I beat no, him. well, yeah, it's manipulation. It's not. Yep. No, I didn't edit it. I actually, I did, I didn't edit it. I actually, it was just talking about oh, when I was rewatching yeah. the footage. I actually beat you on one of them. Whatever. Let's see if this big door gives me a big piece of chocolate. Mm. It does not. It does not. It's a regular piece of chocolate. They. It's the Santa. Well, actually, Santa. what's larger? It's larger than the others, but it is. It's not Santa. big enough to warrant a double door. It's Santa with his hat it, on. Oop, it was Santa. Uh oh. Santa fell out. Oh no. But yeah, oh, it's no. Santa. Did he fall to his death? Because uh. I feel like, uh, and we knew it was going to be Santa because these all these chocolates have been pretty. Uh, Secular in nature, which is fine. Which is fine. It's still fine. Um, and mine is this cat. It's a kitty. It's that kitty right there. It's a kitty. It's that kitty right there. It, no, it wrong. Kitty. That's no here, 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 here. Look here. at her. This is June, everybody. Yes, this is June. Hi, June. She's the look, best. Look, 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 look. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. so it is. That kitty, that yellow kitty right there. There you go. That's what it is. Yep. Okay. All right, cool. So, so back to June. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, she's so photogenic. She loves being on camera. <laughs> Whoa. Somebody didn't so much want to be part of the readings tonight. She's over there. Yeah. Lucy she's does not know the true meaning of Christmas. No. 
Our battery looks like it's dying. Yep. Yes, I'm going to cut it off for now. Yep. Let's go watch a movie. Whoop. We'll all see right. y'all later. Movie time. All right, guys. We are pulling out all the stops tonight. It is now puzzle time. We finished watching the Nativity Story, and I'm feeling kind of tired and run down, but I really want to try to push to try to work on this puzzle some with Roger before um, bedtime. It's just now a little after 7. So. This ought to wake us up. It should. I hope so. Yep. Puzzle time. P puzzle time. And. Puzzle time. Eggnog o'clock. Hmm. Roz likes eggnog. <laughs> All right. See y'all later. Okay, guys. Merry Christmas Eve. We're going to sign off for the night. We are in bed and we are going to turn on the Great British ba <laughs> I always trip over it. The Great British Baking Show. And I probably put sleep time wrong so it'll go off on its own because I'm pretty daggone tired. I don't know about you. I'm getting there. I'm pretty tired. But it's going to be Christmas Eve and it's almost Christmas. Oh. Alright. We will see you guys tomorrow on Christmas. Good night.